today I want you guys to meet the investor from Bonita Springs, Florida, who's got over 900 rental properties. Me and him today, we're going to help him expand his multifamily portfolio, his rental portfolio that expands many states, right? We're going to add another feather to the cap, so to speak. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. Your boy Jay Wise here, and I work for you on this show, right? That's what we do. This show is for you, the viewer, right? personalized videos for investors from all over the world help you start or grow your real estate portfolio right and the client i'm working with today he ain't trying to start because he started oh boy is he started he's just trying to grow man he's trying to expand this show is for my guy dan investor living down there in sunny bonita springs florida right and dan has got 900 units man that is quite the impressive portfolio brother you got units in minnesota texas florida and about 75 of them up here in the cleveland market and today dan i'm going to help you uh expand that even further right what we're going to get for you today is an Airbnb investment, right? This investment, folks, solid, solid friggin' deal, okay? We are talking about a gnarly property that I think you're going to love, one of the uh, most popular neighborhoods in the Cleveland market, very high-end property, going to be some housing credits, tax abatements uh, involved in the play, right? So if there's a lot of you guys out there that are like, wow, man, dude, 900 units? Yeah, we can help you get there, okay? Do a lot of people get to 900 units? No, <laughs> not really. Uh, it, you know, that is definitely a rarity, but it starts with one, right? Dan uh, and me both have something in common, right? We both have like a whole bunch of units, and it all started with one, that first property, right? So, folks, if you want to work with me in the way Dan is doing, whether you got 900 units or you got one unit or you looking for your first unit, I can get you a personalized video. Just click the notes below this show uh, and work with me one-on-one, -on -one, right? Because this video is not published live on Holton Wise TV till after the fact, right? So I sent this to Dan uh, months ago, months ago. And Dan, the property I got for you today, uh, what it is, is it's something that's been on and off the market for quite a while. It popped back on the market. I looked at it a little bit ago. So what I'm going to do now, Dan, is leave you with uh, the original analysis footage that I, uh, I did for this property. And then you let me know if you want to take this sucker down and have this bad boy become number 901. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back, folks. We're going to jump into this beautiful Airbnb, man. This is one of the hottest neighborhoods in the Cleveland market, right? Cleveland, Ohio, that's what we're doing, folks. We're invested in the Cleveland, Ohio market because it's very, very cheap. If you Google where are the best cash flow markets, it's always at the top. You may be thinking like, yo, what? Who's taking vacations in Cleveland? Lots of motherfuckers. I don't know, man. That's what they're doing. But you got to be smart where you buy your properties. And this property is in a very smart neighborhood. Now, there's a whole bunch of neighborhoods in Cleveland. I've graded them all, okay? A to F scale, ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. It's in the notes below this video. It's also uh, available on the tools and resource section of HoltonWise.com. There's a whole lot of areas in Cleveland where if you go, who in the hell would take a vacation there? You're damn right. There's a lot of neighborhoods in Cleveland where ain't no motherfucker going to take a vacation. But this ain't one of them. There's some super hot markets. This, you may have heard of this. It's called Little Italy, folks. Google it if you haven't heard of it. The Feast of the Assumption, right? That's an annual feast. Google that thing. Woo, boy, you're going to get some food up in that belly at the Feast of the Assumption, man. Check that stuff out. This neighborhood is a draw, but the pricing, 
still super cheap compared to other markets. And you know what else is great about the Cleveland market? How about free money? What? Should open the show with that. Free money. There are certain neighborhoods in Cleveland we are seeing revitalization and gentrification. You want to know why? Because Cleveland is paying for it. This property comes with a tax abatement. Totally tax abated on the building until 2031. The only thing you're paying taxes on is the land, right? Because this is a newer build, okay? In certain areas, Cleveland wants to see gentrification happen, and they're paying for it, right? Via tax abatements, full tax abatements on new construction, okay? They're 10-year abatements. This was already built, though. It's a few years old, as you can see, 2015 build date. So uh, we are going to see... Uh, a tax abatement until, uh, I'm sorry, not 2030. That would be wrong. That's actually what they wrote in the, the notes. No, no, no. That should be a tax abatement till 2025. Till 2025 because they're 10-year abatements. This was built in 2015. 2025. Looks like the listing agent screwed that one up a little bit. 2025. My bad. I was uh, just kind of glancing at the notes there. 2025. It was built in 2015. Okay. You're going to get that tax abatement, right? Check out this property. Uber nice, man. This is what you want, dude. You don't have to do a thing to this other than put some furniture in there, right? Big old windows, open concept. This thing is looking banging, and it is right in the heart of where people want to be, right downtown. You got Little Italy is an incredible draw. You got freaking the Guardians, the Casino, the Cavs, the Browns. You got the whole shebang, okay? And the property is looking mint. This is going to look great on photos, on Sweet Laundry. Little little deck action here. Look at that. Freaking downtown view, right? How sweet is that? Pretty cool, right? Imagine doing this. By the way, there's a ton of new construction right here, right? So I'm talking about these tax abatements. You are seeing all types of new construction. The Cleveland housing market is an area where we got normally like 100-year-old housing stocks. So you see these neighborhoods, folks, where the city is incentivizing developers to build new construction. What do you think is going to happen to the value of your property, right? You see this little fucking podunk property right here? See this little piece of shit, okay? When you take these fucking 100-year-old shithole houses and you tear them down and you build big old brand new houses like this or you tear down a whole strip of them and you build freaking half a million dollar to a million dollar townhomes what do you think the value does to the property you bought folks ding 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 it goes up right get in on areas where you're going to see a ton of gentrification right that's where you want to be and as far as the cash flow today it's going to look pretty good right this property all that goodness including that tax abatement that you're going to come in on they're asking 340, but I think that's a little too high. That's why it's still in the market. I believe the true price here is really 325. I think the value is at three and a quarter. And then just so you know, obviously we're going to need to do 25k worth of uh, furnishings, right? Because we got to furnish it if we're doing Airbnb. It's going to bring us up to a total investment of 350. As far as rent goes, being in such a high demand area, I anticipate a 350 dollar a night rental charge. Obviously, we're not going to collect 10850 in rent, though, because that would require us renting it 31 days a month. That ain't going to happen. You ain't renting this thing every single day. It's short-term rentals, folks. You got to factor in a historical vacancy, which we get in Cleveland. Uh, we're really going to be renting it about 60% of the time. That's the short-term rental business. So in reality, we should be pulling in after all the costs, after having my team manage everything, a little bit over $4,000 a month or a 50 k a year NOI, right? Now, as far as what the numbers really look like, you don't have to pay all three fifty dollars in cash. This is real estate, baby. Financing other people's money. We're going to use the bank's money. We're going to use the government's money with the abatement, right? All you're going to need is hundred six grand, okay? $81,250 out of your pocket for the down payment. Then another twenty five k for Holton Weiss to go in and furnish, set everything up, get your Netflix going. Okay, $243,000 on a long-term loan. Should pencil out to what I'm thinking is going to be a 36% ROI. That's why people are coming to the Cleveland market for Airbnb properties, working with my team, getting them going. You don't necessarily think of Cleveland when you think of vacation markets, but when you actually dig deeper and you see stuff like this in the hot pocket neighborhoods, the neighborhoods where you're seeing the path to progress, you're seeing gentrification, it actually makes quite a bit of sense. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.